wish list greeting registration will maximize the registration rates to your free membership by adding an attractive impossible to miss registration screen that visitors will see right when they land on your membership site's home page. The registration form appears widely on the screen and visitors will need to scroll down in order to view the content. The greeting registration form's look and feel can be easily customized according to your needs to allow you to attract a lot more new members than ever. Setting up wishlist greeting registration is easy and requires only four simple steps. Step number one, designing the greeting registration form. In order to define the greeting screen settings, go to the design tab. The design settings are very straightforward and allow you to easily design and personalize the greeting registration form. Wishlist greeting registration includes many elements in different locations, so you can really experiment with various designs. Let's go over the possible elements and their locations inside the greeting screen. Top and bottom gradient colors. The color of the greeting screen is constructed of top and bottom colors, and you can choose any combination you want. The logo's image. The image will appear on the left side of the greeting screen, and it can be at any size or shape you want. The image doesn't have to be your website's logo, but can also be any other image you like, even your own picture. Tagline text and subtext. The tagline text and subtext are located right below the logo and can be in any color you want. The registration forms header. On the right side of the greeting screen, you'll find the registration forms elements. The forms header is located on the top right side of the registration form and can also be in any color you choose. The text before and after the registration form. In order to attract visitors to register to your membership site, you can add text before and or after the form that will appear just below the header. The last setting is the close button or scroll down button, which comes in several different colors. The button will appear in the bottom of the registration form. When the visitors will click on the button, the screen will scroll down to the website and the registration form will disappear. When a visitor clicks on the close button, a cookie will be set on his computer and will expire according to the settings you determined in the display tab, but we'll get to this tab shortly. After going over all the settings in the design tab, click on the Save Settings button. On the right side of the screen, you will notice a message about the cookie status on your own computer. Regardless of the cookie's status, you can always view how the greeting registration form looks like after the changes you make by clicking on the preview link. Step 2. Defining the registration form settings. In the registration tab, you will define the settings of the greeting registration form. You can choose the membership level members will be registered to. Choose whether or not to display the first and or last name fields. Change the text in the registration button or leave it at the default. Choose the username structure, email address, email prefix, or first and last name. Choose the after registration page members will be redirected to when they complete the registration process. Choose the error page visitors will be redirected to in case an error will occur during the registration process. Choose whether or not members will be logged in to the site after the registration process is complete. Define whether or not new members will be required to confirm their email address. If you check this option, new members won't have access to the content until they confirm their email address. Define whether or not new members will require admin confirmation. New members won't have access to the content until they are confirmed by the admin. You can choose whether or not to get an email whenever a new member registers to the site through wishlist greeting registration. You also can choose which text will appear in the transaction ID. The transaction ID can be found in the Edit User screen 
and it will allow you to know how many members converted through the greeting registration form. After going over all the settings in the Registration tab, click on the Save Settings button. The registration form includes real-time email validation, and the registration button will only be active after a valid email is entered in the email field. Step 3. Defining the display settings. In the Display tab, you'll be able to define when and how many times the greeting registration form will be displayed to visitors. You can define that logged in members will not see the registration form as they're already logged into the site. If you want to be more specific, you can define that only members who are registered to the same level that was defined in the registration tab will not see the greeting screen. After all, they're already registered to the same level, so there's no need to display them the greeting screen. Another option is broader. You can decide not to display the greeting screen to all members, regardless of the level they are registered to. These three options, combined with the cookie option, give you the flexibility to display the greeting screen only to visitors that really need to see it. In the Cookie Length field, you can define the number of days that the greeting screen will be hidden after a visitor clicked on the Close button. For example, if you set the cookie length to be 7 days, it means that the greeting registration screen will not be displayed to the user for 7 days after the close button was clicked on. If you choose to set the cookie length to negative 1, then the cookie will be displayed and the greeting registration screen will always be displayed, based on the other display settings in the Display tab. After you finish configuring the display settings, Click on the Save button. Step number 4. Adding the shortcodes to the After Registration page. Wishlist Greeting Registration plugin also allows you to add simple shortcodes to display members their login details. You'll find the complete shortcodes list in the Dashboard tab. Copy and paste the shortcodes you need into the After Registration page and the details will be automatically displayed to your members when they complete the registration process. You can display the following details. Auto-generated username and password, the member's first and last name, email address, and the membership level's name. Now, just publish the after registration page and that's it! In the products page, you'll find more useful information about the plugin, all the available features, screenshots, frequently asked questions, etc. To get wishlist greeting registration, choose your desired license and start converting more visitors to members now!